Gianpaolo Tortora is the surgeon of Kate Middleton, yes, an Italian doctor who has spoken precisely for a media outlet from Italy. These are his first words about the process that Kate Middleton has undergone. Now, we will analyze it because it has attracted quite a bit of attention, and above all, the British press has not echoed any of this. On the other hand, the British press in this sense is criticizing as could not be otherwise Harry and Meghan. So let's start with this discussion from the Daily Mail interview program here on YouTube, which says there is no possibility of Prince William meeting his brother Harry when he arrives in London next week. Andrew Pears, who is another of these Royal Rota members, said in this week's episode that it seemed unlikely, as Princess Kate was undergoing treatment for cancer, and that, well, she already had a lot of stress caused by attention due to Harry's book. That is, the book that came out a year and a half ago. Well, they say that the Duke of Sussex will take advantage of the visit to see his father, King Charles, and they continue to say that he is sick with cancer despite him saying that he is feeling better. All of this, as I say, must be taken with a grain of salt, because it is true that, from the statement of Charles, we might think that such an illness does not just heal overnight. It's a bit more serious than how Buckingham has treated it in this sense, because it has aroused quite a few criticisms on social media. Well, next Wednesday, Harry will fly to the UK for the 10th anniversary ceremony of the Invictus Games the day before. Tuesday is the birthday, curiously, of his son Archie. One of these experts predicted that father and son would meet during the visit, but another contradicted him and said no, they wouldn't, that in this sense, well, it's still being treated and recovering, and what does he say? I think a large part of his stress would be directly associated with Prince Harry with the book. Well, we could also associate it with the stress of constantly dealing with somewhat fake news published by this Royal Rota Mafia and British tabloids. But, well, he says, I think it has been very difficult for her. And the king says here a sentence says he is not getting any younger. No, I don't understand this, but, well, he says if Harry will meet him, it's a matter of great speculation. Even after the monarch's visit, sorry, from the good news that the 75-year-old monarch's condition is responding to treatment with his return to public duties this week. Well, it's true, we saw him there in a cancer center, in a hospital in London. Talking to various patients, he says, It's not clear if it would be advisable for father and son to meet, given their turbulent past and the bitter separation of Harry from his brother Prince William and his wife Princess Kate. They don't even want there to be family peace because I think their gravy train is running out a bit, he says. When Harry arrives, it is understood that he will stay in a hotel and not in one of the royal palaces. I hope the king sees him. Yes, well, he says, the relief is that she will not come, Megan, how bold. These people are obsessed. Really, what a shame. She will stay in the United States with the children. Well then, let's see, I don't know, he says. Another of the contributors says, I hope he sees his father. I hope it's nice for them. That it's not too stressful for the king because after all, he is undergoing cancer treatment. They present this visit as if it were a great displeasure that I think they are looking forward to and that Harry comes to the UK well, that's it, to continue harassing both him and his family. And it's shameful, he says. People often ask me, another of the contributors, did I ever think there would be a reconciliation? I think it's quite difficult to understand how, after all the things he has said and done, goodness, as if he had committed a crime, he says. I would like to think it's possible, he says, when families go through difficult illnesses, this can really bring them together, but it doesn't seem like it, he says. If I were the king and my son came to an event, I would expect him to stay with me and wouldn't accommodate him in a hotel. Well, but this, let's see, we know it works. It works like this. I don't know. Clarence House has around three anterooms. You could place him in one of them on a folding bed. Really? 
I mean how tasteless, how tasteless, both Mr. Piers and Mrs. Bain say. The contributors, he says, agree that problems could arise if Harry arrives and complains about what he perceives as slights to the king. I can't believe it. Well, and that the father is allowing this, who are supposed to be official journalists of the royal rota. Come on, it's embarrassing. Freedom of expression, of course, but, well, let me tell you about what was discussed in the discussion, that there is no possibility of Harry meeting his brother or Kate, and that notice how he decides to stay in a hotel and such. Well, an independent newspaper, that is, from India, a country by the way of the Commonwealth, says the following. It says, and I believe this information a little more, Prince Harry, well within all, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle do not want to stress Kate Middleton amid her battle against cancer. They want to be super respectful of the situation Prince William and Kate Middleton are facing, right? Yes, if yes, Prince William and Kate Middleton echo U.S. Weekly, which is a, well, an American newspaper, a magazine. And they say, well, that they are not going to add any stress. In the end, it's a bit the most logical information, and above all, not to add stress. I think what they don't want is a scandal. So that's it, that they go there out of obligation, for whatever reason. Well, I think that's fine in that sense. He says, if Will and Kate want their space, Meghan and Harry will give it to them. Well, this can also be applied the other way around. A source close to Prince William says they want a relationship with Meghan and Harry and don't want acrimony to transfer to the next generation to sort things out with them for the sake of the children. And well, they mention again the Invictus Games issue and such. British tabloids are also spreading fake news about the trip to Nigeria that Harry and Meghan are going to make, saying, well, we already told you, right? that they are putting the whole of the UK in a very difficult position and such for this trip, as if it were an official visit to see that the country itself has invited them and that Harry in this sense and Meghan also have links with Africa. So what's the problem? The problem is that they have brought out well that before an imminent visit from Harry. They always come up with nonsense like public image surveys that of course have not changed in these public image surveys it's all about Middleton, Charles, William, Camilla, in that order, and also high, I mean, above 50% acceptance. And those who are not Harry, Meghan, Harry, Meghan are really bad. Well, let's see what the doctor, the surgeon who is supposed to have operated on Kate Middleton, has said. This news is reported by the newspaper La Stampa, an Italian newspaper from the Italian Republic. We have no reason not to believe it, but we also have no reason to think there is anything more. Well, they tell us that Kate Middleton was operated on the abdomen by a team from the Gemelli Polyclinic in Rome. This is supported by an Italian weekly magazine that in an advance of the issue that is going to be released tomorrow, sorry, reports that the delicate operation to which the Princess of Wales was subjected last January, was performed by Italian doctors, King Charles. They say what he has is a bone pain that doesn't let him breathe. Well, he doesn't talk about cancer. It caught my attention. It could be compatible, but well, he says. Regarding this intervention of Kim Middleton, Giampaolo Tortora has commented, who is the director of the Oncological Center of the Gemelli Polyclinic and professor of medical oncology, at the Catholic University, and these are the first official words about the abdominal surgery. It can be hypothesized that the neoplasm is located in the abdominal area and could have affected gynecological organs such as the ovary or the uterus or the digestive system such as the colon. Assuming well, another says, assuming it's an abdominal neoplasm, Giovanni Escambia, gynecologist, oncologist, and scientific director of the Gemelli in Rome, explained. It should be remembered that therapies for tumors in the gynecological area are much better and effective, and a good part of the patients recover. Last Stampy advances this, that the information will come out tomorrow. 
It says it has collected confidences from sources close to the British royal family, and this newspaper highlights, which is a news that does not match those coming from Buckingham Palace, which announced the King's return to his public commitments. King Charles returned to public commitments on April 30, after the announcement of the tumor and the start of treatment. He appeared alongside the Queen and his wife Camilla at a cancer clinic in London. Blah, blah, blah. We've already told you this. And regarding Kate's issue, she made this statement on March 22. She says she's been slow to explain because of the children and, well, here the information stays a bit. Well, as I say, we have no reason not to believe it. This comes from an Italian newspaper. A serious newspaper echoes the information that will come out tomorrow in another, weekly. And in this sense, well, several things seem to me. First, I have no reason not to believe it, but it doesn't seem to me that it's information that contradicts all the conspiracy theories that have been around about Middleton and about Charles. Here, the word cancer is not mentioned, bone pain is mentioned, which catches my attention. And on the subject of Middleton, it's already talking about a more gynecological issue well, with hopes of a good recovery, and this is supposed to be what the people who operated on Kate Middleton are saying. I, as I say, do not contradict the information. She could have been operated on that. And also, if I recall Kanchak Kalaj's words, this news seems perfectly compatible with what she said. From here, well, it is commented that there is a kind of fear that William and Kate have that certain people in their environment, well, start talking. In this sense, we have doctors talking. If doctors talk, I imagine there has been some kind of consent or something similar or well. Let's see what we find tomorrow in the weekly, because in the end, I mean, they are not going to speculate or anything. They are going to stick to the facts and their own work, but it still catches our attention. It catches our attention quite a bit. Well, this is going to be a bomb. Tomorrow we will see how the Royal House responds. I don't think they are going to send a statement, but we'll see a bit from the articles in the British tabloids, curious information already international press, less stamp a newspaper, so they can't say, because here what we do is look for sources and not echo fake newspapers, at least if we don't put them in context. Gynecological problem, and with good hopes. It's still good news, but I think the speculations will still be there. This information could be official, but it's not quite because it's picked up by international press, because it's told by foreigners, because the British press has not echoed any of this. And let's see a bit what happens. Oddity to say the least nothing else opinions in comments.